Now let's talk about Israel. Israel's being surrounded. Look, there's really only one country around them that hadn't yet become provocative, and that's Jordan. It's the only country that there's, there's not an immediate threat to them. Every other country around them is. And they, as this Arab spring continues to unfold, and as more and more countries fall under the direct control of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is a direct threat to Israel, as more and more countries fall under the leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood, Israel is just being surrounded. Seems like something in the Bible about that, as you see Jerusalem being surrounded. Israel have fewer allies. It's down to the point now where I think America and two or three island nations are voting with Israel, are voting against giving the Palestinians observer status in the UN. It's incredible. They'll have fewer and fewer allies that they can rely on. The question is, what about the United States? In 2013, what will we see? Will America stand with Israel? Genesis 12, 3, in my mind, is very clear. And I know that I understand replacement theology. I understand it. I've talked to people, and, and I've talked to renowned authorities on the issue of replacement theology. I can't see it. I can't understand it. I can't buy into it. So if you don't agree with me on the importance of America supporting Israel, I fought 36 and a half years for your right to disagree with me. And God bless you. I stand with you. But I've also got to tell you, I believe you're wrong. I believe you're wrong. The very character of God is challenged by replacement theology. A God that would make a promise and then decide to change his mind and break that promise is not the God of the Bible. I just can't, I can't come to grips with it. So I support your right to believe differently, but I don't agree with you. I believe America has to stand with Israel and America will be blessed if we do. But if America turns us back on Israel, I believe it is the end of America. I believe that the demise of America will come. And if it happens in 2013, that there is war in the Middle East and there will be. And America does not stand with Israel. Stand by for the trumpet sound. Israel is likely to strike the Iranian nuclear program. Folks, they're out of options. They don't have any options. 2013, I believe Israel will strike unless America strikes first. And that is highly unlikely given the current leadership of this nation and what I believe has been a lack of support for Israel. Now, that said, we haven't had a real supportive president of Israel since 1947. Ronald Reagan came very, very close, and he was probably the most supportive, but every other administration has tried to get Israel to divide the land, to divide that covenant land, except for one man, Harry S. Truman who stood very firmly with Israel and was the first president around the world to actually recognize Israel as a sovereign state.